Dario Davis, we'll start with Michael. Jack, you're from Georgia. You started your career at Tennessee. How did you end up at Arizona? Um, there was a connection with me and Coach Akina through high school. When he was at Stanford, he recruited me. So as soon as I jumped into the transfer portal, it was uh, that same good connection when he contacted me. So what, what do you think about Arizona, the West Coast, et cetera? It's been super fun. I love the people out here. Like Everybody's been super nice. The team was like super welcoming when I first got out here, so that was good. So you mentioned you've had a, a relationship with Coach Aquino. What's it been like kind of learning from him? It's been good. He's a, it's a different style of coaching. Some days he's harder than others, but I love him. It's good coaching. And then uh, I believe you're now the the coach to player uh, guy with the, the helmet, the communication. How's that been for you? It feels cool when I get uh, the headset in my helmet. It's kind of like playing video games with the headset on. Um, so that's been fun. Right now, it seems like you've been you've been battling a lot of stuff. How how difficult has that been to play through injury? Um, no, I'm right now. I'm good. Yeah, I'm good, hundred percent. But just overall, I mean, has it been a rough year for you being able to have to play through that kind of stuff? Um, I say a little bit, but nothing serious. But overall, I'm good. So, uh, Coach Brennan on Saturday talked about how the defense is having to. It's like going against a waste of maturity. How's that been for you, Jack? Um, having to play more. Uh, of a role in the defense, and how, what have you seen from the young guys? Um, I just seen the young guys stepping up and then filling in them holes, like losing Gunner, Stooks, and Manu, and they just stepped up and came to play football. I think you never want to lose a player, like definitely the great players that we have. Um, but when the shot's there, I'm going to take it, and I'm going to train for it too. All right, I don't think you were targeted. One single time. <laughs> what was it yeah. like to, to um, feel, feel like you maybe you shut down? You know, half a second. I mean, it's a good thing overall, but in like in a moment it was boring, if you ask me, really. But I mean, I, I should take it as a good thing, not being targeted. I looked at so, I mean, just keep dominating, keep going. In my eyes, it's like a good thing, so just keep working. Sure, whether you get the ball thrown to you or not, you still have to help out against the run. Yeah. This week, especially, this is a very run-oriented team. What are you guys talking about in terms of, you know, s slowing down their run game? Um, just keep being physical and just stop the run. Physicality and winning yeah. the line of scrimmage is always yeah. big parts of a football game. Yeah. A question for both: um, How much has Dalton really uh, led the defense with all those guys out, and um, how has his role maybe changed in the? Um, I, I wouldn't say the roles really changed. Um, I just feel like, well, Don, he's like high IQ player. Like he knows all the positions on the on the defense event. Um, he's just very mature, and then he just been playing ball for a long time. So it's like he's just a vet out there, just being a vet, doing vet things. I think. Uh, Kind of like what Bobo said, he's a vet now. Like he's matured in the defense. Dalt knows every position to play, and uh, he's been super great for me, him and Jen both. If there's ever a question that Coach Akina don't get answered, Genesis and Dalton get it answered for me. Takara, do you see him playing like a similar role as uh, Martel Irby last year? Uh, yeah, yeah, most definitely, yeah. Because he played anywhere, linebacker, safety. He played corner too. Yeah. You ask me, yeah, he played anywhere. Jack, you had two picks in your first start. You maybe could have had two in this last game if you had taken maybe a slightly different angle or timed your jump a little differently. How do you kind of view those two performances back to back? After every game, it's good to watch film and evaluate what I did, but I'm on to the next week. I'm not even thinking about those right now. Ron? Takari, was it weird that maybe looking around at times and seeing there's so many of the guys that you started the season with on the field that are now just like in street clothes and, and, and how weird that can be? I mean, yeah, it's weird, but it's like, it's football. It's part of the game. Um, it's just next guy up mentality. That's really what it is. Kelsey, 
Uh, so I, I asked these guys this uh, to Cario uh, with Jonah and T-Mac, and I don't know if we're going to talk to you next, but how do you look at the, the last stretch of games and maybe life after Arizona and possibly prepping for the draft? Um, just be where my feet is. Just be now, worried about now, not worried about that down the road. Just I worry about that down the road. Just be where my feet is, worried about now, and worried about UCF. Jack, are you going to have family at the game? I know it's not like it's right next door to where you live, but it's a lot closer than where you're at. Yeah, um, Orlando is super close to Melbourne, and all my mom's family is from Melbourne, so I'll have close to like 15 people down there. Oh yeah, it's gonna be a fun game. Right. So Jack, was it the, the connection to Akina that made it so when um, you had committed here and signed here and then there was a coaching change that you didn't look to go back into the portal? Was it because of Coach Akina was still here? Yes, sir. Coach Akina and our connection was stronger than the connection I looked for anywhere else. The vibe's been like at practice this week. I know a four-game losing streak. Maybe you guys can check out and feel dejected, but do you guys feel like you're staying together? Um, I mean, we always gonna stay together because that's all I really know. We just the brotherhood and just keep fighting, keep competing, and loving one another. I think practice has been good. We had like good energy. We brought the juice every day. Yeah. Uh, Jack, you're. Um, you got some guys who are injured who maybe are some of the smartest, most experienced players on the team, like Gunnar Malt and Maldonado and Trading Stoops. What have you learned from those guys? What have they been talking to you about as you've you know integrated yourself into the starting lineup? They talk to me about pretty much everything, um, whether it's just seeing the quarterbacks drop, seeing if number two is on the ball or off, like anything I coming out of high school didn't see or coming from Tennessee didn't understand. Those older guys like Stooks and Gunner have been great just telling me exactly what needs to happen. Do you, do you, do you expect them to do that? Or are you surprised at all that they'd be so willing to help you out? I'm not surprised at all. They're great guys and uh, they lead whether they're playing or not. Uh, Takara, what do you think is going to lead to turning some of those pass breakups into interceptions? Um, man, I just gotta just get my hands. When I get my hands on the ball, I just gotta make a big time play instead of thinking about knocking it down. Just try to pick the ball off. All right, Jack. Thanks, Jack. Thanks, Jack. Thanks, Jack. Thanks, Jack. Appreciate you.